Welcome back everyone to our gameplay of Motorsport Manager Online. And after our most recent video, we've got a lot going on right now. We've just recently received a promotion. That's why you can see we have zero points uh, and we need 125 points for our next promotion. So that's going to take us a few races uh, to get there, depending on how we do in our first few races uh, since the promotion. But now our car quality is down to good. And you can see we have 872 on the performance and quite a bit left here for improvement. So that tells me without any uh, improvements going into our very first race in this new class, we would probably not do too well. We have good quality drivers, so not great, but certainly good. And then our staff, we're not too worried about because I'm pretty happy with our engineer right now particularly in the bonuses that he gives us uh, on our pit stops. Which brings me to uh, our strategies. Let's take a look at our strategies first. Now you can see we've got softs and uh, hards. Now what we're planning on doing here is I want to use the soft tires and then one driver on the hard tires. This is going to give us a bonus of one second per lap faster. That is a huge amount, uh, particularly for the person who's using the hard tires because hard tires means you're going to make fewer pit stops to begin with so that gives you fewer opportunities to benefit from any uh, any strategy that improves your pit stops so that should be really good now i'm thinking about swapping these up but for right now we're going to let claudia use the soft tires and uh, santa Ana use the hard tires so we'll again we'll see how all this works its way out. But for right now, we're going to test it out using uh, the soft tires with Claudia and the hard tires with Santa Ana. Now we'll come back to the home page. We need to get started on some HQ upgrades. You can see we got 2.1 million in the bank. And again, since we were last together, all I really do is come in and get the free money from the store uh, every so often and uh, collect any sponsor money that comes due. You can see we got an hour before we're going to have any of that that is available right now. So we don't need to upgrade to level three uh, for a little while on our HQ. So let's go ahead and continue work here. We've already done the uh, the sponsor upgrade. Now let's take a look at, uh, we might as well just go ahead and do these. I don't really remember any of these being uh, extremely important right now for us. We'll just go ahead and work through this one after another. Uh, let's see, we're not going to worry about upgrading or speeding up the upgrade. Okay, so we got that done. Uh, sponsors, store, all of that is ready to go. So next, let's come into our parts. So right now we're at level seven, but we want to see if we can upgrade our brakes. So, okay, yeah, we can definitely go to level eight. What about level nine? Absolutely. It looks like level nine is the maximum. So let's go ahead and skip by level eight, go straight to level nine. All right, I like that quite a bit. And as always, the next thing we want to do is get started building our very first set. So level nine, let's go ahead and do that. It's only going to take us 10 staff, which is awesome. Go ahead and confirm that. It's going to cost us 100K, but again, money has not really been an issue at any point during our gameplay to this point. As always, though, I would imagine that's going to change as we move forward. All right, let's move over to the suspension and let's see what we've got here. Now we have no staff, so we're gonna to need to do something about staff uh, here. And looks like, actually it looks like level six is the highest we could get regardless. And we have just enough to make that happen. So we'll go ahead and upgrade to level six. All right, so before we can actually do any building here, uh, we need to come back into our staff. How much room? Do we have, this is really getting annoying that I cannot skip past this. Yes, we're well aware of what the staff does. All right, let's go ahead and put, uh, it's only 225K for an additional 20, and that a 20 should be plenty for us right now. So we'll go ahead and hire those. I have looked around for ways to get rid of some of these screens that are basically tutorials that keep popping up every time. And so far, I've not figured out a way to skip by them. It's usually pretty simple uh, to go in under the settings, but so far I've not seen it, uh, but I will definitely keep looking for it. All right, so now we want to come back in. We want to build a uh, suspension. You can see the gearbox is still a spec part, so we don't have to worry about it for the time being. 
Let's go ahead and build our very first of the new suspension. Okay, we'll go ahead and work our way through there. Now, so we've got about 15 minutes or 14 or 15 minutes there, about 10 minutes here. So we've got a little time before these actually become available. So it looks like our first race, we'll just go ahead and run it with the current level of car that we have. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, it's not obviously not going to be a great performance for us, but we're going to keep things moving as much as uh, possible. We've got some more upgrades ready for Santa Ana. And here, uh, really, race pace is what I'm all about. Uh, I mean, smoothness needs to be improved. Race starts could definitely use some improvements. But we're just going to keep hammering away, at least until we reach about 90 or maybe even 95 or so before we'll look at some of the others because race pace is huge. Okay, 194K for the upgrade. And you can see these are getting more and more expensive over time. Uh, but right now, our race pace is amazing with both drivers. Uh, and we've already talked about the next time we get to do uh, upgrades, which should be after this next race for Claudia, I want to start working on her qualifying, see if we can't get her up closer to the front of the grid, and then that will uh, help us out even more during the racing. All right, looks like everything is... Uh, good to go as far as I can tell. So we've got some new strategies we're going to try out. Let's head to the track. So it looks like today's race is going to be at Rio de Janeiro. Very abrasive track, which means the tires are going to wear out faster. And we got a 34% chance of rain. Now our bonus objective, thankfully, is only 11th. Because I fear that we're not going to have a, uh, a great opportunity to do well and get up into the top fives or podiums, anything like that. Uh, so for right now, let's see, we want we want to make sure we use the hard tires because that's what our strategy is. And you can see we've got a little bit of extra bonus speed here. And I really think that's going to be helpful in today's race with our car being not quite as competitive as we might want. Uh, there you go, 15th and 19th. Uh, but again, we're going to continue working on these qualifying performances. All right, so let's go ahead and get things ready. Uh, I want to see, what do we get? 27% per lap. All right, so that's going to enable us to do three laps per. And if we back off of that, can we actually make, uh, what do we get here? 16%, wow. So with 16%, we are going to be in great shape. Uh, we'll have to see how the tire wear is. Remember, it's a very abrasive track, so we'll have to see uh, what we get there, but uh, I am quite excited to see what we can do. So we're moving up the grid a little bit, 13th and 17th. So, so far, so good. I'm going to keep my eye on uh, the tire wear, see how many laps we're going to be able to get out of these tires. We get an idea from what we've seen in these other screens from how hard the driver is pushing. But again, we want to make sure that all of this lines up um, exactly the way we want. I'm actually going to back off here uh, with Santa Ana just to make sure, because I actually think Santa Ana might be able to do this without pitting, or at least I'm going to hope that we've got uh, a possibility for that. All right, Claudia is up to seventh. All right, once again, I like that. We're down to 40%. Uh, so we can run one more lap uh, if we wanted to, but we might as well go ahead and get this pit stop done because, again, we don't want to run out of tire. So this will be pitting at the end of three laps. So what I'm hoping is that if I change this to conserve, we might be able uh, to do this just on one stop. We're going to try it anyway. All right. About three seconds, you can see they're on the pit stop, which is a little different than what we're, we've are we gotten accustomed to with Claudia. But I still think we're going to be perfectly fine over the long term. Meanwhile, we are roughly halfway through the race, and we're roughly halfway through the tire for Santa Ana, so I like that. Uh, what about engine? What do we get on engine? Uh, so we're on medium, so minus uh, 27, 0.27. Here, so probably not going to be able to push on the engines. 
All right, let's see. Of course, Santa Ana is well up the running order. And as I look in front of us, uh, the other driver who's still out there on the hard tires, it certainly doesn't have the tire left that we do. So I like that, uh, even though this is going to get real close. I think we can actually make this happen, but it is going to be very close. Meanwhile, same thing for Claudia. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty much right neck and neck on the track. So I'm going to keep this at conserve just to make sure. I mean, we're running way too good. I don't want to ruin it by getting too aggressive here. I'd rather have some tire left at the end of the race that we didn't utilize as opposed to running them completely out of tire uh, and losing all of these finishing positions. All right, so we've got the final lap. Let's see what we've got. I'm not sure we're going to make it with Santa Ana. Uh, but we are... All right, let's go ahead to neutral here with Claudia, since we seem to have plenty of tire. Uh, Santa Ana is the one I'm worried about, though. I'm, I would be looking for another designation, even below conservative at this point, to try to just make sure. We've got a few more turns left. 6% left on the tire. Uh, we're looking great here. This is so much better than I thought we were going to do. So there we go. We're going to come home third with Claudia. And Santa Ana will come home uh, in fourth. Wow. Uh, like I said, that is much better than I ever thought we were going to do in this race. So that gives me a lot of hope as we move forward uh, with more upgrades to our car. That is perfect it also lets me know that our drivers and strategy are doing quite well we might not have wait what happened here oh that's right claudia we've got multiple uh claudias in the field so it got me confused there for just a second all right so we pick up a total of 29 points we'll certainly take that and let's continue on 150k for our finishes in today's race. Now we got a drew, another driver trait, uh, which is happy. We've seen this before. Uh, it's only good for 20 minutes, which means we're not likely to get an opportunity to use it today. Uh, but we'll take it nonetheless. All right, so now we're starting to get some gears, which is very nice because that would, um, I would imagine, is going to be the next. Uh, we're going to need those next for our upgrades, which I believe is going to be the gearbox. So there you have it. One-stop strategy is what did it for everybody, except, of course, for Santa Ana, who didn't stop at all and had just enough tire to make it happen. So those bonuses in our strategy of uh, a second a lap faster were pretty awesome. All right, so we're at 8,800 right now, so we're bouncing around quite a bit. We were up as high as, I believe, 8,400. I think that's about about right uh, but 1.3 million is a very nice bonus in roughly three days so that'll give you an idea of just how much time uh, each of these videos or sets of videos are taking in in real world time so let's go ahead and move forward uh, let's see what part we're going to uh, want to fix and of course we're going to have brand new parts for Claudia as of the next race so that'll be some parts that we'll definitely want to ignore unless we plan on using those uh, on the other car. So we lost 5% reliability there, uh, which is still better than what we have for Santa Ana. So I might swap those parts over, which means we won't want to do anything with this one. Uh, we only lost one on performance here, uh, and this one is still better than this one. Okay, so we're definitely not going to fix either of these. Uh, so I think the way to go is to fix our reliability on this part. You know, really not worth it to fix the performance at this level. So let's go ahead and get that extra reliability because again, these parts will move over to Santa Ana. So she'll have better than 80% on both. I like the idea of that. Okay, we've got another uh, driver upgrade for Claudia. Uh, very nice. We've got some new parts that are going to be ready by the time we're ready to race again. So I like that uh, quite a bit. Let's go ahead and take care of our initial part, which will be the suspension. Okay, we'll go ahead and fit this part in. 
So level six, first thing we want to do is swap these parts. So we keep the stronger of the part and then we'll select Claudia and you can see immediately we're up over 900 on performance now. That is a huge increase and we are certainly more than happy to take it. Okay, let's go ahead and can I take care of those. There's our copper wire. Okay, everything looks good uh, there, at least for the time being. A couple more minutes, we'll do that final upgrade. Now we need to upgrade uh, Claudia once again. All right, so what I want to do now is I actually want to start working on her qualifying. By far and away, her weakest link, uh, weak, weakest link that is affecting her on a regular basis. Overtaking is not great, uh, but I really haven't seen that be a huge issue for her. Qualifying is going to determine where she starts the races. So the more we can crank this up, uh, she's already fairly good at race starts. So this is only going to help her quite a bit. She's up to a 70 overall. And I would argue that she's much better than that uh, in reality. Okay, so after this next race, in all likelihood, we'll get another upgrade for Santa Ana. So we'll continue working uh, there as well. Okay, so let's come back to the home page. We still got about a minute here. Uh, let's see, where are we? We've got an hour and 45 minutes. We've got 45 minutes here. So it looks like we have run out of time. We don't have enough time for another race today. So when we come back next time, we'll be looking to do the final part upgrade, maybe build some more parts and get busy with another race. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager Online.